Hello everybody, welcome to another special episode of Art Whisper 88. Now this is um, Discount Store Baby Oil. Can be any brand you like. And I'm going to show you how I oil my plate. And then this is one of my brayers, which I hardly use. I, I find it too hard. But this is like a, a acrylic plastic. I prefer the soft rubber ones, but I think it will be ideal for what I'm going to use it for. I'm going to pour some baby oil on my plate. And using my brayer, I just roll it out. Now, normally I use my hands but I just wanted to show you that you can also use your brayer to spread out the oil. Now the advantage of the brayer actually is it does it very evenly, more evenly than my hands would. There you go. Now you don't have to worry about putting too much. Actually, it's better to put more than enough than too little. So now this plate is saturated with oil. I'm going to let this sit for about 30 minutes, maybe more. Sometimes I do this before going to bed and I just look at it in the morning and all the oil will be gone because what happens is the gel plate which is made of mineral oil absorbs all the oil and it conditions it and makes it more uh, flexible and it kind of gives up the paper more easily so I'm just checking for some dull spots. That means those are the spots that didn't get the oil. Actually, I got a very good tip from a viewer and she said to not just oil the surface, but to oil the sides as well. And that kind of makes sense because the sides kind of dry out. That's the part of the plate that is kind of neglected because you have to remember this is a three-dimensional object. So I am just rubbing my fingers along the sides just to make sure it has some oil on it. Okay. Now for those of you who cook or bake, this is very similar to greasing the pan. Like if you want to bake a cake, you grease the pan and, and flour it. Well, in this case, we are just greasing the plate and hold the flour. We don't need that. Okay. So I'm going to let this sit for about half an hour. And in the meantime, I have assembled some more entries of my open call. And I'm just amazed how talented and how prolific these artists are. And I appreciate very much. Thank you so much, uh, all you contributors. You are so talented and I am so proud of you. And I am very, very happy to highlight your work in this video. So sit back and enjoy. And I will be back in a few minutes.
Okay, I'm back. I hope you enjoyed that little intermission. Uh, it's been an hour, maybe almost an hour and a half. And as you can see, some parts of the plate have absorbed the oil completely. I'm just wiping away the excess. And another benefit of oiling the plate is all the leftover residue paint comes off, as you can see here. I'm just using an old rag. Sometimes when I use paper towels, the paper falls apart. It's better to use a piece of fabric. Now, so with this coating of oil, the plate is as good as new. And you will not have any problems with tearing or um, having the paint dry too fast. Okay. So now that the plate is freshly oiled, I thought I would do a demonstration of oil resist, uh, just to show you what it looks like. So I have here my Blicrylic Mars Black. I'm going to pour it into this container. Okay, and I will just water it down a little bit. I'll add like a teaspoon of water. And let's see. and mix it all up. So I'm just going to do some random circles. As you can see, the oil is already causing the paint to separate.
Okay. So now that I have that down, I will air dry this with the help of a ceiling fan. Okay, now that this is pretty much dry, we're going to have a little fun with some colors here. This is cadmium red. I always have this problem, the nozzle gets clogged up. So this time I will be using my smaller brayers to make roughly some circular shapes. This is Rose Matter. And the rest I will fill in with Naples Yellow. So this is really very free form. I'm using the brayer like a brush to make these gestures. Now instead of instead of rolling them like this, I'm rolling it in curved gestures and I'm hoping that 
the action of making these curved gestures will show up on the plate, on the print, I mean. This is kind of inspired by the work of woman artist Sonia Delaunay. That she uh, pioneered in abstract art and textile art with her beautiful patterns and designs. Again, I'm paying special attention to the edges because somehow the edges tend to dry out much faster. But I did oil the plate, so I'm hoping that that helps. Okay. I'm going to tidy up my table a little bit. This may, may well be my last sheet of paper. Now I have this super wide brayer and I hardly use it. And maybe I can use it like this. Just to give an e even pressure. As usual, I will leave this on for about five minutes. And while we're waiting for this to, to set, uh, here's some more artists for your enjoyment. Okay, let's see how we did here.
I think the oil resist worked pretty well. Another advantage of oiling your plate, it makes cleaning very easy. Okay. Check this out. Now these markings are very typical of an oil resist where the oil content and the water content uh, fight each other. They are opposed to each other and so as a result you get these very delicate patterns like a lacy pattern. So I will air dry this and I will recap. Hi, I'm back. I couldn't leave well enough alone. So I want to put on a third layer with iridescent white. And because of my happy accident last time, I kind of like the result of mixing iridescent white with a little black. And the result is like a silver color. So I'm using my same brush and mixing the iridescent white. And as a result, I'm getting like a silvery, almost like an aluminum paint. And I'm going to increase the transparency of it by using clear gel medium. So I have a semi-transparent iridescent paint. I, I must mention that there is a there's a slight odor with this. It's a chemical odor, like a kind of like ammonia. So when you use this, make sure you have a good ventilation in your studio or your room. Okay. So I'm just going to brush and since I'm using a brush that contains black there will be some variation of color. That's the leftover paint that's left in the brush that will show up. Now there will be some smearing, but that can't be helped. That's the nature of this stencil technique. This is really a very, um, 
I would say crude. It's not refined, just not like a silk screen where you have very sharp and clean edges because your stencil is a photographic. But this is a hands-on homemade stencil, very low cost. And uh, I, I am emphasizing low cost because I, I don't believe in using expensive materials to make good art. When you are faced with a lack of materials, it should not stop you. And that's where your resourcefulness comes in. You make do with what you have and you are forced to be inventive. Okay, I'm really stretching this. I'm almost out of paint. Okay, I'm just getting rid of the high spots. Make sure the edges are nice and wet. Okay. Now, if I can get two or three uses out of this plastic sheet, I'll be happy because it's not as sturdy as the uh, folders. handy to have these uh, plastic tubs which I saved from the supermarket they come in handy for soaking and washing do a little bit of tidying up okay now I want to make sure I don't have another accident So here is my pull with the oil resist. Now actually this is not Richeson paper. 
this is a leftover and this is probably a blick um, hot press watercolor paper because it's very smooth and the measurements are slightly different but I hope the it will not affect the registration So I will leave this on for about five minutes. Okay, this is the exciting part. So the last layer is like a gunmetal. It's a much darker color than regular silver. I think it works. And it doesn't interfere with the oil resist. Okay, I think this is very cool. I like that. Okay, I will air dry this and then recap. Okay, this is a final recap of this oil resist piece. It's actually a combination of techniques. Here's a close up. And you can see the final layer is metallic and it changes with the angle of the light. And here is the oil resist effect, which is like a lacy texture. And it's combined with the transparent metallic last layer I also hope you enjoyed viewing my very talented viewers work I'm really very touched and amazed by the submissions and they really are from all over the world thank you so much for watching and subscribing keep on rolling don't lose the flame of creativity that burns inside you and that's what keeps us going so thank you so much and i hope to see you next time